What up friends, welcome to another episode of The Paint Show. Today we're having an awesome paint as a surprise, the Daniel Smith Autumn Mystery Duochrome. What up friends, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another episode of The Paint Show. As I said, today we're looking at uh, one of the luminescent series of uh, Daniel Smith watercolors, the Autumn Mystery. This one specifically is a duochrome and um, I have here the 15 milliliter uh, tube. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank Uwe, one of my followers here that uh, sent me these. You may have seen them, uh, three tubes of Daniel Smith. You may have seen them in the video about opening the mail. Uh, so he sent me uh, this one alongside with two other tubes. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And you hooked us up with some really cool paints to look at for the paint show. Um, and so the luminescent series that this belongs to uh, basically has four subcategories so the first one uh, is the iridescent then we have the duochrome which is this one uh, there's the interference and the pearlescent um, and so each one of those has its own uh, unique characteristics so the duochrome in this example is one that changes it's the same pigment uh, but it changes between two colors depending on the situation and on the background on which you glaze it and I will demo uh, in a few minutes here okay so don't worry about that you will get to see this uh, in action uh, then we have the iridescent that is I believe reflects like a mirror I wrote down all of the qualities here the iridescent yeah it reflects light like a mirror so you get uh, a certain paint but it has also some reflective qualities. You have the interference, which refracts light, light comes, touches the paint and scatters basically. And you have the pearlescent that adds this sort of opalness or like a pearl uh, gleam or sheen to the paint. Um, I will link to a Daniel Smith's video of demonstrating maybe 12 of these. Uh, there's, a, a, I believe, a total of 48. Now, you wouldn't necessarily tell the difference between the four subcategories. They kind of look the same to me, but they are different in terms of the color itself. So some of them are a little more um, teal, some of them are a little more blue, green, red. This one in particular is a very interesting peach paint. So uh, I just really like it, sort of peach pink paint. Um, so it's just a really beautiful one. Um, let's talk a bit about uh, some other stats about this one. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of information. I checked the Daniel Smith website and the page itself is not um, not active. I think there's a problem with this specific one because all the rest I saw like the hibiscus and the other paints uh, are uh, okay but this one I got a 404 error so they don't have a page. I got the information from the tube itself and also from the product page um, on Amazon. So basically this is made out of, and I'm just going to read it to you straight from the tube, uh, silica coated with titanium white. So silica is basically uh, silicon dioxide. Uh, it's an oxide of silicon. It's been known for a long time now, from ancient times, this specific um, um, material. And uh, in nature, it's found uh, usually as quartz. Uh, so the, those quartz uh, crystals that you see, I'm not sure if it's specifically as crystals or as rocks, but as quartz um, and or sometimes in some living organisms as well. Um, and this one is specifically made, I believe, from uh, just from the uh, rocks. I'm, I'm not sure about that because I really couldn't find a lot of information here. Now, it's coated with titanium white. Uh, that's uh, PW6. Uh, the pigment number of this one, it's not mentioned here, but um, yeah, it's, they just didn't include a lot of information here. Um, so yeah, I'm curious as to where this specific color of this one comes from, this uh, peach color, uh, because it definitely doesn't come from the titanium white, so maybe it's from the silica. Uh, it's something that I, I do want to look into, um, also for other uh, tubes to see what they have in them. Uh, but I guess maybe they do some kind of a manipulation to it uh, to, to make it have uh, this color. Um, in addition to that, let's see what else is interesting here. Uh, this one is a series one paint uh, and it has a light fastness ranking of excellent. Number one, it's the best, uh, which is interesting. I would expect it to, to be flawed in some way, but, but it's just really cool. Now, because I don't know a lot about this paint and I just started playing around with it um, uh, in the last few days, uh, prior to, to making this video, um, I just think the best thing to, to do would be to actually demonstrate 
uh, and show what it looks like. So I'll try and demonstrate it uh, and, and just show it to you in several different situations. We'll do a clear wash, then we'll do uh, a glaze over a darker wash because that's when uh, the, the duochrome quality comes to play, when it's uh, glazed over a darker value or darker color. Um, and finally, uh, as a wet and wet technique. And you're just gonna see how uh, it has some unique characteristics, okay? Uh, the color I'm gonna glaze it over is um, Ivory Black, I believe, by Windsor & Newton. Uh, it's a paint I barely use, so I just have been using it for a year now and it just never runs out because I barely use it, but I will switch to another black probably soon. Uh, so anyway, I want us to start the demonstration, so let me change the angle and get to it. Okay, so let's get started here with the demo. I prepared uh, three swatching areas, um, as what's written on them suggests. Uh, one will be used for just a clear wash. I'll try to go from light to dark. And then we'll have one meant for glazing and one for wet and wet. Um, now, because this, this paint will look uh, a little different uh, when glazed on darker colors, uh, so I just want to take a look at that. Um, I'm going to switch just to a larger brush. This one is a little tiny. Um, and I have to say that just when, when you look at it uh, like this, uh, on this paint, it doesn't look uh, special in any way, actually. It just looks like a sort of normal uh, peachy, orangey paint. Um, I will uh, change the angle of the board just so that you can see there is some um, something interest uh, in the sheen of the paint. Okay, so there is something interest with it. Uh, let me show you, let's see if I can get the angle of the light here. Um, wait a second, there we go. Okay, so you can see it has uh, a significant sheen. Um, this is really normal, just like probably any watercolor. Uh, the one thing I noticed is that uh, it is it does have a bit of a glitter in it. I'm not sure really. I think that's how it's supposed to be. It does have an extra uh, glitter in there. Okay, so I'm just trying to make the wash a little stronger so that you can actually see this um, because when it's when it's uh, a little more thick. Uh, here I'm using some really thick paint. Uh, that way you can really tell. Um, let me show you. I'll just move this a bit, and hopefully you can see. Uh, some of that. I think it's hard to to really show that uh, through the camera only, uh, even with a good camera for, for that matter, uh, because it does really look a little different. Um, I can see by the camera's monitor, but in any case, so that's our kind of um, clear wash. I'm gonna just take some uh, a little more strong of a mixture. Uh, and just add a bit of that here. Um, even when it's not at an angle with the light, I can see some glitter, some glistening uh, coming through. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, glaze over the black area and here you go, you can see some of the glitter. Uh, so anyway, we will glaze uh, over the black area and I um, deliberately started from uh, a little lighter of a wash and then went darker the more I went down here. Um, I will probably do some stripes that will go uh, over the white space as well as the black one uh, because it's nice seeing the difference uh, between the two. Okay, so uh, the one thing I did notice with this paint is that it's a little thicker straight out of the tube. It's not that soft. Um, when I'm putting it in over the black, there's actually some interesting things going on. I'm not sure if it comes through uh, the camera, but it just looks very interesting. Um, let me try putting in some more here. And the way it just settles into the black, there's this, um, uh, again, sort of shininess to it, and you can see it here. Um, yeah. So hopefully it comes through still in the video. I think uh, where the, the black is a little darker, it will be even easier to see. Um, you can see how it settles. Let me zoom in a bit. Maybe you'll be able to see it better. There we go. And hopefully you can see this. Yeah, I think it comes through. You can really feel the, the texture of the paint sort of getting in there. Uh, a really cool effect. Uh, I wasn't actually able to see this in Daniel Smith's video, so it's nice to see it here. Uh, let me just move it a bit so that you can see it uh, with the sheen while I paint. Uh, hopefully you can see this well. 
There you go. You can see how it really sort of pours in there. Uh, just a beautiful effect. Uh, you can actually the, actually see, like, almost see the particles themselves. Uh, so just a very interesting, um, very interesting paint. And again, an effect that you can't really um, get using just normal paint, probably no matter what. Um, so now for the last one, I do want to try some wet and wet. Let me rearrange the camera. So anyway, now I'm dipping the brush into the paint and... Ooh, that's a really nice. So I do notice that it spreads quite a lot. Um, this is something that I feel is a little more unique to this one. Uh, let me zoom in a bit because it's quite nice actually, the effect. Okay, so check it out. Really nice. And I also see some of the uh, sort of particles of the paint falling in there. Let's use some thicker paint here. Uh, beautiful. And there is some sheen to it, again, in addition to the normal one. Um, there is some extra uh, glistening. So just a very, very interesting uh, color, I would say. Uh, I'm not really sure uh, what I'm going to use it for in particular, or specifically for me. Um, they say, and I agree, that it's really good for um, painting this sort of... Um, nature elements that have this like uh, maybe uh, fish's uh, scales or um, or a bird's feathers something like this that has some uh, glistening texture to it so uh, these aren't usually subjects I tackle but this could very well be a good excuse to do more of them uh, so maybe I will take that into consideration uh, and try using this one uh, a lot because it's really fun and uh, once it dries up it looks just uh, wonderful so let me zoom out a bit okay so just wanted to show you again especially the the middle uh, the middle swatch uh, where you can see some of the paint glistening uh, a lot of it doesn't come through unfortunately uh, in the camera uh, but a lot of it you can still, I think, see pretty well. Uh, they actually have a video, which I will link to from the description box, that shows uh, the way they uh, glow in a nice way. Not just this one, but also the iridescent and the uh, interference and all of those. Uh, okay, so let's now change the angle and wrap up this episode. So just before wrapping up, I wanted to give you a closer look at this paint and just so you, that you can see the difference uh, when it's glazed up on a, on a different... Uh, darker value, darker color, and this one I think is the best view uh, you can get of it. It's really, uh, I hopefully you can now see uh, the different color and how unique uh, it looks like. I was afraid that uh, it wasn't communicated well uh, in the demo itself, so I'm literally holding the camera really, really close to the paint to make sure that you can <laughs> get the full details here. Okay, friends, so I hope you enjoyed the demo. Uh, again, I'm not sure it all came through in the camera, so apologies if some of it hasn't. Uh, as I mentioned a few times, I will put a link to the Daniel Smith's video. It does show the sheen or the gleam uh, a little better. Um, and this is it. Thank you for watching this episode of The Paint Show. Uh, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat where I show all these cool stuff. Work in progress, some more personal updates as well. And I will see you again in another episode of The Paint Show and in another video tomorrow.